Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you, since it's making all that noise, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to turn our little closet right here into our mud room. So right now, as you can see, all we use it for pretty much is just like sheets and blankets and tissue, paper towel and water. Um, but we need a mud room because this is the door that we use most of the time because, you know, it's right there by the garage, it's easy. And I hate this situation right here. I hate it, I hate it. It's just a lot of clutter and I want everything gone. So I'm going to be turning it into my mud room. So yeah, if you like to see how I did it, just stay tuned and continue watching this video. Bye. Review. Um, it is a lot of space in here and it goes really deep, um, which I think is good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to use some of these shelf boards um, just to prevent me from having to spend money that I don't need to spend. <laughs> so yeah, so this is it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is clear everything out, take off the door, remove the boarding, and get started. Okay guys, so my frame is measuring at 57 by 25 and a half roughly. Um, all I did was attach the frame to the studs in the wall and then I brought in my two supports that will go in the middle and I use pocket holes for that. And I'll show you how I made my pocket holes since I don't have the actual kit. Okay, so for my pocket holes, all I did was take a big drill bit. I just based it off of the screw that I was using. I'm drilling down and then I'm going to angle it in the direction that I want the screw to go in. And that's pretty much it. It is super easy. And all you have to do is just take your screw and screw it down in there. And then now you have your two boards attached. Now that my frame is all attached and secure, I am going to lay one of the shelves that was originally in the closet, lay it flat down, and pre-drill screw those in with, I believe I use one and a half inch nails. And then in order to get the rest covered, I'm just gonna cut the other shelf down to size and secure that down. All right, to finish off the bottom, all I'm going to do is take some paintable caulk and FYI, I really don't like it. It's a latex one. I just didn't like it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try to conceal those seams. Then we're moving on to the upper frame um, for the bench. I'm going to do it the exact same way I did the bottom. And then I'm going to add four side supports to connect the top and the bottom together. Human beings are magical creatures. We can see what doesn't exist 
and choose to rise above what is. Unlike any other, humans can feel without having to have actually felt. We can share each other's pain or joy. One might use such a power to destroy rather than to build up or support. Okay, moving on to the back wall. All I'm going to do is take three pieces of wood, lay them on the wall vertically, and then I am going to put one over the top of them horizontally. And this is going to essentially be where the hooks will go. And I was winging it at this point. Um, there was a lot of trial and error, so you'll see. I was trying, pretty much trying to figure out where I wanted the bracket to hang for the top shelf. And like I said, there was some, you know, trial and error, but I ended up figuring out and I think it turned out nice in the end. Okay, so I ended up going ahead and putting the shelf on off camera. It was super hard because that shelf is pretty heavy to be lifting up there that high by myself. Um, but I got it done. And then I originally put up this piece of wood. Um, I had to put a 2 by 4 behind it because it was bent. You'll see. It's not going to stay. But once again, trial and error. Just winging it as I go. So it is the next day. It's actually the afternoon now. Um, I took off that wall. I really didn't like how it was because you could see it when you step back. I don't like that. So the other change I'm about to make is I'm going to remove this right here as well as this whole situation. Um, and I'm going to move it over. Well, I'm removing this all together. And I'm going to add another one of these right here and then attach it just like I did that one. Um, you will see why I'm doing that in a second. Hopefully I get done today. I still have to do the cover for the bottom as well as the side shelving. And then paint, well, sand, fill the holes, paint, all that jazz. So hopefully it gets done today. We will see. That's the goal. So um, yeah, I'm going to get started. Okay, so I'm actually going to do the top one, the top shelf later. I'm going to focus on doing the sides real quick. That way I know for sure that is good and then I can move on to everything else. All right, so for my shelves, I went ahead and created one off camera. Um, all I did was kind of figure out how much space I wanted between each shelf. And 
the depth of my shelves are 15 inches. And all I'm doing is going to secure those 2x4s to the studs in the wall, place the top shelf onto the 2x4s, and then I'm going to place another 2x4 across the front just to give it a more finished look. Hey, speak to me kindly. I'm the type of girl you call wifey. Yeah, I ain't no sad piece. I'm the one you take it home to my home. Come on, uh, speak to me kindly. I'm the type of girl you call wifey. Yeah, I'm such a down piece. Back me and I never. Okay, so the next thing I'm about to do is put the door on the bottom. Um, I want it to drop down like this. Um, I haven't watched a tutorial. I've never done this before. I don't even know if I have the right hinges, but we're gonna just work it out and see what we do. Better gonna right your wrong. I can sing it for you all day long. Speak to me, Kylie. I'm the type of girl you call wife. what I'm gonna do to the start. Um, I still have to put the handles on the, the drop down cabinet. But yeah, so this is what I have so far. Um, trying to knock it out before Tinsley wakes up because I don't want all this dust and paint fumes and stuff to be around her. So yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do right now. And just watch this time lapse. Alright, 
so everything is um, sanded and I wiped off everything. I was going back and forth on um, what color I wanted to do it and uh, I'm just gonna have to black it out. Like this whole wall right here is just white. There's just so much white everywhere and I just feel like blacking it out would be really nice. I'm kind of scared because I hope it looks right, but we're just going to black this baby out though. All right, let me go ahead and get started. that was made so far um, this is this side I don't like how those two shelves came out so I'm gonna do something different but yeah this is it so far um, I think I want to add a little bit more white probably on this wall but yeah that's what we have so far I definitely went a little crazy with the black but overall I think it's looking good and I'm excited to see it all done. Okay, so let's just talk about this cabinet. It will not look like this when you see the final product. So for one, my cuts was off. As you can see on the side, um, is not straight. So I did go back and recut it. And the drop down is no longer there. I have it coming up instead because the magnets that I had bought for the drop down wouldn't hold the cabinets up. I guess they was just not strong enough. Um, so yeah, so it looks completely different than this. <laughs> Up the empty and I'm sure I'm important. When a Grammy, I'll be falling. 